And the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Olao Lukoyade, has sworn to follow the prosecution of former Kogi State Governor Yaya Bello to logical conclusion. In a chat with journalists at the EFCC headquarters in the Jabi area of Abuja on Tuesday, the anti graft chairman vowed to resign as EFCC chairman if Bello is not prosecuted. He vowed that all those who obstructed the arrest of the former governor would be brought to book. He said that no matter what anyone does or the amount of attack against the anti-graft agency, he and his men will not relent in helping to sanitize the country. Olukoyede said that EFCC needs the support of Nigerians to succeed as he emphasized that if the agency fails, Nigeria fails. He stated that the efforts made currently has helped the value of the Naira and the foreign market. Money directly from government to during the change. Use it to pay the, the um, child's school fee in advance. In advance, dollars. How much? 74? Yes. Uh, total is over almost 800. In dollars, yes. In dollars. In 72,000 dollars. How did I say about 20,000 dollars? Sorry. 72,000 in advance. In that bill that was going to leave government house. In a poor state like Kogi, I want me to close my eyes to that, under the guise of saying I'm, I'm being used, used by who at this stage of my life, just by who? By who? For crying out loud. I assume office here. I didn't, I didn't initiate the case. I inherited the case file. I called for the case file. I called for the report. And I said, look, there are issues here. Do you know on my own, on my own, I put a call across to him, which ordinarily I'm not supposed to do. Those who honor him as a governor, as a past, immediate past governor. Sir, there are issues. I have seen this case file. Can you just come? Let me let us clarify these issues. I'm under camera. He said, Ah, sir, I thank you, my brother. I know, uh, but I, I can't come. There's one lady, I don't know what her name is. Uh, let me say it. Uh, that she, she learned she had said, you know, she has surrounded the agency with over 100 journalists, you know, to come and embarrass him and intimidate him and all kind of stuff. I said, okay, if that is your fear, I'm going to pass you through my own gate, special man's gate. You will come to my floor. We will accord you that respect. I will invite my operator of it. They will come and interrogate you or interview you in my own office. I need to go after this man. Do you know when we got there? I said, Mount Sobela. We are there at Sabia 7 a.m. Mount Sobela. Don't cause breakdown of law and order. I think Mount Sobela. So when eventually we got this order across to them, we were supposed to move in. That was when the government came. It is very good. Even though they are denying now that you drink water, when we have all the video evidence, we don't even know the forensic evidence we have with us. And we use this money. We met over 30 armed policemen, about 10 sitting in Tanta Terrence. I don't know what. We meet him. His CSO is a senior GSS official. We met all these people there. I went with my gallant men, over 50 of them. Out to beat it. We would have a street fire. Mm -hmm. If you have done it, there have been casualties. Mm -hmm. yes. If I have killed one or two people in the country, they have crossed fire. Oh, and then what will you be saying? Will you be proud to come and run out of the house without them? Mm -hmm. That's how people are condemning us. Hey, why did you break down the house? So if I have killed one or two people, or another mm -hmm. uniformed man, mm -hmm. because I wanted to arrest somebody who committed white collar crime, what would I do if I want to say, uh, arrest a terrorist? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.